Hello everyone, Johnny here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll show you how you can set up a scanner on Thinkorswim, which will alert you if a stock is trading at a level that's one, two, or three standard deviations away from its mean test. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you probably noticed that I like to use the standard deviation channel for high probability entries. This video will also help you save a good bit of money, especially if you're on a budget because a monthly subscription for a good scanner can cost you over $100 per month. So let's get started. Here I have a one year daily chart open for Apple. I already have the standard deviation channels plotted here. If you're not sure how to plot them in your chart, um, there are plenty of YouTube videos that shows you how you can do it. You can also check my video titled how to trade using standard deviation to find out how I go about using these lines for high probability, low risk entries and exits. I'll leave a link in the description below. But just to give you a quick idea here about standard deviation channels before we get into setting up our scanner. If you notice here, price tend to find support and resistance around these standard deviation lines, which helps us pinpoint a good entry and a good exit for a trade. So how do we set up a scanner that uh, alerts us when price is touching one of these standard deviation levels? So let me show you an easy way how you can set up a scanner that will alert you if a, if a stock is trading at any of these standard deviation levels. Um, for example, we can take a stock that, let's say, we want to go long, so we want to see a stock that went under the first standard deviation level, but bounced off of it. So how do we set it up? So it's really easy to do that. We need to go to scan. Let's delete this. I had this set up already. So first thing first, we would click add filter. We would go stock and let's say you want to look at stock that has a price of three dollars or above so we would go last minimum three dollars and maximum it's up to you you can go maximum hundred or leave it blank it will scan for all stocks that's above three dollars now we'll go add another filter and go to stock and let's say you're looking for a stock that has traded a million shares volume today already. So if we go to click on the drop down menu here, go to volume, and let's say we put in minimum volume of 1 million. All right, and now comes the main part. So we go add filter. This time we'll click on study. We will click on this drop down menu, go to custom, delete what's there, and we will click add condition, select a condition. Now we want the price to have gone under, let's say, the first deviation mark on the downside because we would like to go long. So we click price and we would click on low. And we would click on low is less than select condition. And here we'll click on study, look up study. So we'll look up standard deviation channel. And let's say we want the price to have touched the first standard deviation line in the downside. So this will be the lower line. Deviations, we would do one and hit save. So this will now scan for any stock that price the low of the um, current candle is lower or less than the first standard deviation lower line. So now we'll add another condition and select condition again price. This time we will select close because we want the price to have gone under the 
lower line of the first standard deviation but bounced off of it and closed above. So this time we'll click is greater than. Select condition, study, standard deviation. And in here we will go again lower line and deviation one. If you want to see uh, stocks that's hitting the second standard deviation, you type two. Third standard deviation, type three. If you want the half standard deviations, you can go 1.5, 0.5, and so on and so forth. So we'll just click save here. So now we have a candle, which the low, uh, the low of the candle was less than the standard deviation, the lower line, one standard deviation to the downside. And the close of the candle is greater than the standard deviation channel, the, again, the lower line. So, click OK. And now, here's the thing. If you'd like to um, look at a daily chart, so just make sure the D is click here. If you're a day trader, you want to use the minute chart, you can go one minute, you can go any time frame you'd like. But for the purpose of this video, I'll just leave it at daily. And now we'll hit scan. So currently scanning, give it a second. And there is the list of stocks that matches our criteria. So let's see, we're going to go to the top one here, ANF. So let's see here if that matches. So ANF, and there you go. The lower one deviation mark, so the price went under the one deviation mark, bounced above it, and let me zoom in a little bit here so you can see better. And you can see it closed above the standard deviation line. So this is how you set up your scanner. So now here comes the alert part that, okay, if something, if you're a day trader, you don't want to do the scan every two minutes. How do you set it up when and then if a, if, a, if a stock is hitting the scanner, that will show you uh, an alert that, hey, there is a stock symbol, there's a symbol added to your scanner. So that's really easy. All you have to do uh, is just go back to scan and here click on save scan query. And let's call it, just give it a name you'd like, just call it YouTube. Save. And now the scan has been saved. Now on the left hand side here, right here, as you can see, watch list. Um, if you just click on this drop down menu and go to personal, I saved it under personal, you can save it anywhere you like. And here is your scanner YouTube. Now you can also customize that scanner. To your needs so you can customize you can put in stuff that you'd like to see I have symbol the last price the net change and the volume but you can add whatever you like also you can add an alert uh, you can you can customize the sound of the alert so you know it's hitting your scanner so I'll show you how to do that so if you click here and go to alert when scan results change and if you click on notify with sound you can even set up any custom sounds you like uh, in here right now it's on the bell so if a stock is hitting our scanner it will just have this sound here um, I'm a big Star Trek fan so I like to use the red alert right here but you can customize it and use whatever sound you like so this is and then if you just click create there we go anytime a stock pops up in your scanner it will show an alert just like that so there you have it guys this is one of the scanners I use day in and day out for day trading and swing trading stocks and options please hit the thumbs up if you like the video if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and happy trading.